Hello, and a very warm welcome to our NT Royal YouTube channel. Harry and Meghan have been booted out of Buckingham Palace, as the Queen plays hardball over their Mexit demands. The couple will have to shut their palace office from April 1st, and are banned from using their royal titles to tout for business. They will be hit hard by the shutout, which could kill off their Sussex royal brand, experts say. Royal commentator Phil Dampier said, the Queen has stood firm. Harry must ditch his honorary military positions for at least 12 months after his grand slammed the door on their Mexic demands. The shutout, following complex negotiations, frees them to chase the corporate megabucks, but not at the expense of damaging the royal family's reputation. Royal watchers have described it as a body blow for the couple, who were hoping to cash in on their royal rings in their quest for a financially independent life in North America. Cut adrift. Former Royal Protection Officer Ken Worf said, They have been cut adrift. Where is their future now? I think it'll be difficult for them to find a way back in the royal family. Details of the couple's divorce agreement emerged yesterday, as the pair prepare to step down from royal duties at the end of next month. Harry and Meghan have been ordered to close their office at Buckingham Palace from April 1st. They have been allowed to keep their HRH titles, but have been forced to accept that they will not use them publicly as they tout for business around the globe. The couple are also likely to have to remove the lucrative royal from their long-cherished Sussex royal branding, despite spending tens of thousands on a new Sussex royal website to complement their Instagram feed, which has more than 11.2 million followers. They have already tried to trademark Sussex royal, which they want to use to flog countless trinkets from bandanas to notebooks. It is also likely to mean rebranding their charitable organization called Sussex Royal, the foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Talks were said to be continuing on the use of the word royal, but the Queen and officials have reportedly told them it would be untenable. The Sussexes have already agreed to repay the $3 million of taxpayers' money used to refurbish their Frogmore Cottage home in Windsor, and are expected to pay a commercial rent for it of about $39,000 a month. Last night, Ingrid Seward, editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine said, It seems as though they are retaining a lot of things, but not actually being able to use them. Like the HRH title and Harry's military position. Disappointed. They are obviously not going to be able to use the word royal on their website. They obviously are royal but can't call themselves that. They have those things but their hands are very tied. It's almost like the man who wasn't there. Mr. Worf, a former bodyguard for Princess Diana, said Harry and Meghan would be hugely disappointed with the outcome. He said, they want to keep that Sussex royal brand name, they haven't. Without that brand it's going to be much more difficult for their charitable causes because that was their trademark. I think they'd want to keep the office at Buckingham Palace as well, which they now don't have. Harry would also have wanted to have kept using the HRH title, but he can't. He will be incredibly disappointed with that. Royal commentator Phil Dampier said the Queen had stood firm during the negotiations. He added, Harry and Meghan have got what they wanted in the fact that they now have the freedom to make as much money as they like, and at what cost in this settlement. I don't think Harry would have expected it to cost them so much. The Queen has not allowed a situation where they have the best of both worlds. If they are out, then that is it. No office, no titles and they cannot even use the word, royal. It will be interesting to see the public reaction to them at the events they have upcoming. It will be interesting to see if they get a warm welcome or any mixed reaction, even hostility. Royal expert Dickie Arbiter added, The Queen is always going to stick to her guns and make it very clear. If you're turning your back on being a full-time royal, then there are conditions under which you can do it. Another report. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex must drop their Sussex Royals label after deciding to step down as working royals. Following lengthy and complex talks, the Queen and senior officials are believed to have agreed 
it is no longer tenable for the couple to keep the words royals in their brandings. Harry and Meghan have spent tens of thousands of pounds on a new Sussex royal website to complement their hugely popular Instagram feed. They have also sought to register Sussex Royal as a global trademark for a range of items and activities, including clothing, stationery, books, and teaching materials. In addition, they have taken steps to set up a new charitable organization, Sussex Royal, the foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. It has now been made clear that they will need to use Raybrands. LMT Royal Channel understands that, Amid what has been described as a complex situation, this fine details is still being thrashed out. However, it is understood the couple have accepted that, as part of their new working arrangements, they will not be able to use the Sussex royal name as they had hoped. The development is thought to represent a major blow to the Sussexes, who now face starting again and re-registering everything from their website to their charity under a new label. Harry and Meghan first began using the Sussex royal branding this time last year, after they split their household from that of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge known as Kensington Royal. The Sussex's Instagram page, Sussex Royal, has amassed 11.2 million followers to the same number of fans as William and Kate's account. It was a natural progression, therefore, for Harry and Meghan to use the moniker for their new charitable foundation, due to be launched this year with the support of Buckingham Palace. And as they secretly prepared for a new life in Canada, it was clear that Sussex Royal was at the forefront of Harry and Meghan's plans. Dozens of trademark applications were made for everything from bandanas to notebooks, although sources have always stressed that these were preventative measures to protect the trademark from others, and never intended for commercial use. The couple also privately commissioned a new website. With the introduction, it's welcome to the Sussex Royal Community, your source for information on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The couple's decision to step down as senior working royals and pursues financial independence put a spanner in the Sussex Royal works. It placed the Queen in an invidious position, given her long-held conviction of refusing to allow working members of the family to profit from their positions. Announcing Her Majesty's decision to allow her grandson and his wife to pursue a new life abroad, officials made clear that the Sussex royal title would still need to be re-evaluated. All members of the family including Harry and Meghan were involved in the discussions, and it is understood they all agreed that, in light of the Sussexes' decision to step back, their use of the words royals would come into question. Now, as well as giving up their HRH titles for work purposes and abandoning official appointments and patronages including Harry's military roles, the Sussex Royal brand will have to be abandoned. A source told the LMT Royal Channel, in many ways this is inevitable given their decision to step down but it must surely come as a blow to the couple, as they have invested everything into the Sussex royal brand, the Queen would have had little choice, however. The Sussexes' original plan of being half in, half out working royals was never going to work. Obviously, as the Queen has made clear, they are still much-loved members of her family. But if they aren't carrying out official duties and are now seeking other commercial opportunities, they simply cannot be allowed to market themselves as royals. The couple are reported to have no regrets about their decision to step down. Discussions about their charitable foundation took them to the prestigious Stanford University in California last week. The foundation had been expected to launch in April, with the couple believed to be modeling the nonprofit on those run by Barack and Michelle Obama, Bill and Hillary Clinton, and Bill and Melinda Gates. The Sussexes also recently appeared at a conference in Miami organized by banking giant J.P. Morgan. They reportedly dined with Jennifer Lopez. The appearance at the invitation-only summit is said to have earned the Sussexes up to $1 million. Local media reported that Harry appeared on stage with his wife and Gail King, a TV host who attended Meghan's baby shower last year. A source told the New York Post that the Dukes opened up to the wealthy crowd about the childhood trauma of losing his mothers, adding, 
Harry also touched on Mexit, saying while it has been very difficult on him and Meghan, he does not regret their decision to step down as senior royals because he wants to protect his family. He does not want Meghan and their son Archie to go through what he did as a child. Please support Growing LNT World channel by subscribe channel, like and share videos hour. Your support is the motivation for us to produce better videos. Stop.